to give you an example from my case because I also have um, a similar tendency there are many things I know I'm good at and other things I know I'm not good at and teaching was one thing I knew I'm not good at speaking in public is what was one thing I know I know I'm not good at and I realized that it's basically exactly the same mechanism you're just taking yourself too seriously and then in such moments what I've noticed that it works for me is to just do it even I even if I don't believe in myself just go there in front of the class teach the class and then at the end of the class I was saying to myself I don't know why I was feeling like this why did I not trust myself because it wasn't so difficult next week again before the class I don't think I'm a good teacher I, I feel I shouldn't be doing it it's um, I feel anxious about it it's not nice but then I have to do it yeah because why well, it's a regular course you cannot escape it I mean my sense of responsibility in regards to this is higher than my anxiety so I do it and I discover ah, oh, it's not so bad actually and this in time overriding this initial impulse that was telling me you're not good at it stop don't do it you're not you know you're not gonna manage and I just initially I was forced to not listen to it and now I do it on purpose now when I see a difficult uh, something that appears difficult for me I notice that if I just do it immediately I gain confidence I gain trust in my ability to do that even if at the beginning I had no confidence no trust yeah and it might need repetition again and again and again but th this is how you can grow this is how you can actually notice again that all these feelings of voices in your mind beliefs are just some constructs that you put there and they they are these like these masks you know that children wear that are, can be very fierce you look at this mask and it has that very very scary print on it wow a dracula mask or a angry tiger mask and you can get scared of it when you see it in the first place you know when you don't know what it is actually but then you just remove it it's just a paper mask nothing else than that you know you can just like this and it's gone and the fear fear goes something similar to this happens inside with these beliefs that we hold there as a facade and we feel surrounded by so many war but no yeah no it's difficult it's impossible it's so many of these things and then if you just do it it's like and then well oh it was made of cardboard this is just it's not real you know well sometimes they flip back and we fall asleep again and we say oh again the tiger here i cannot do it and then again and again the state of karma yoga is what heals it because it's like it's impossible if if god is doing it what is your problem you know it's like of course i understand the problem but if if you really contemplate this in depth right you really sit with it it's like well i'm i'm feeling paralyzed right now why because i think i'm i have to do it and that's scary because I suck and I'm this and I'm that. And that's the whole point, what, what Karma Yoga is, is completely, not even just bypassing, it's just removing this whole idea. It's like, yeah, but there is no you. You are not the one acting. You are witnessing. And it's like, oh, it's, it's okay, I'm paralyzed. I can witness while I'm paralyzed. Okay, I'll just sit here and watch as God does it through my body, right? Contemplate it in more depth. It's a... Uh, the karma yoga attitude is the antidote to, to the state. What is there to be afraid of if you are just simply acting yes. or becoming a, becoming a vessel of the actions that God wishes to offer through you? Really let it sink in. Don't answer yet. You can answer in five minutes. Feel. Really feel it. Let it sink and let it touch you profoundly. What does it mean to practice karma yoga? Okay, let God do it. Oh, but I cannot let God do it. Huh? It's like, you know, it's like you bite your own tail. It's not possible. God does everything. He will anyways make it happen. You know, it's like if he has to drag you along or if you, you know, let him. 
you'll anyways do it. It's anyways going to happen, you know, if you want it or not. It's okay to be afraid. It's okay to, to be paralyzed. But all right, good thing then that God is doing it. My God, I don't have to do this. Thank God. Right? So it can really be healing. Really, really be healing to, to play with that attitude a bit more wildly. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content on spirituality, tantra and more. And if you want to sign up for our online classes or for our retreats, you can see our website on the description below.